Hey everyone, Chris from SyncMain here, and I want to do a quick video talking about picking the right programming language. A lot of people talking about picking the right language worried that what they choose might be becoming a dead language or a defunct language. Uh, this is true in games and web programming. Uh, you see people saying JavaScript is dead, use TypeScript, TypeScript is dead. There are people still working with COBOL and Pascal. I'm in the game industry and we use C++ and everyone keeps saying, that C++ is a dead or a dying language. I was hearing these things when I started learning C++ 15 years ago, and it still hasn't happened. If you have a company in mind or industry in mind, you go look at the job listings and you see what languages people are using now, and you can go learn those languages. Or pick a language that you like and then find jobs around it, if that's what you really want to do. Some people are passionate about Ruby and Python. Ultimately, I think when you're learning to program, whatever language you're learning, those skills are usually transferable to other languages. Most of the languages that I've learned, I've had to learn on the job because, you know, I learned C++ and Java in school. And then sometimes like things came up where I had to work on a tool that was written in Python and I, I didn't know Python. So I learned it to get the job done. It's very likely that the languages that you learn are general purpose programming languages anyway, which means that they're used for different industries and different kinds of applications. And a lot of the knowledge that you build working in one of those languages is transferable to other similar general purpose programming languages. So I think you should pick a language that you're interested in or is industry standard for the industry that you wanna go in, learn it, get good at it. And if there ever comes a time that a different language comes along and becomes the standard for that industry, you can learn it alongside the other professionals that work in that industry. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.